Good morning. We are going to have a little phonics lesson. Haven't you missed phonics? I know I have missed teaching phonics so much. Um, so what I thought we'd do is just, if you have a paper and a pencil around, then you can grab it and do some of this with me. If not, you can just watch. Um, I have a whiteboard, just like we use at school, and a marker. And I didn't bring an eraser home, so I'm using a trusty paper towel. That's okay. We got to deal with what we got. So, I thought it would be good just to review our five phonetic skills today. Okay? So, the first one. Try to think really hard about phonetic skill one. And remember, one is the keyword there. Okay? You have it in your head? Okay, so remember phonetic skill one has one guardian consonant. Okay, so let me give you an example of a word. It'll just be a simple word. Okay, the word cat. And I hope you can see this. I hope it's not backwards. It's backwards on the way I'm looking at it. So, cat. So we see that we have one vowel. We mark our vowel, remember, and then we have one guardian consonant. Remember, go around like a racetrack, and we're going to mark it with a star. And when a word has one guardian consonant, that proves that the vowel is short. Okay? So now, if you're at home and you have some paper, I want you to think of a word that follows phonetic skill one with one guardian consonant and write it on your paper. Okay? So think of a word that has one guardian consonant. Okay, now let's move on to phonetic skill two. So phonetic skill one has one guardian consonant. Phonetic skill two has two guardian consonants. Okay, so let's think of a word that has two guardian consonants. Okay, I've got one in my head. Okay, and remember it can be a nonsense word or it can be a real word. It's okay if it's a nonsense word. Okay, my word is wisp, wisp. Now this one has something else too. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, remember, is to mark my vowel. And then what is sp? Sp, sp. It's a blend, right? Okay, so we're going to mark our blend with an arc. But you still hear both those sounds. You hear the s and the p. Sp. Okay, so that counts as two guardian consonants. So when we have two guardian consonants, that proves that the vowel is short. Okay, so now if you want to think of a word that has two guardian consonants, it's phonetic skill two, you can write that on your paper. Okay, let's move on to phonetic skill three. Okay. Do you remember what phonetic skill three is? Remember, long and strong. If the vowel stands alone, the vowel is long. Okay, so here's my word, she, 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 e. Okay, so we've got digraph sh. Remember, digraph has two letters that only make one sound. So the sh say shh. Those two letters say shh. So we're going to mark it with an arc and we're going to mark our vowel. It's a little sideways. It looks like a T. Okay. So when the vowel stands alone, that means nothing's after it. Okay. It doesn't have anything after it. Then the vowel is long. Okay. So that's phonetic skill three. Long and strong. Now let's move on to phonetic skill four. Remember phonetic skill four? Silent sneaky E. So let's see. Let me come up with a word. Um, let's see. Okay. 
Hold on, I'm having some technical difficulties. Okay. Now, my word is hope. Hope. Okay, so remember when you're writing the word hope, you don't hear the E. So a lot of times we're tempted just to put H-O-P. But that wouldn't be hope. What would it be? That would be hop. So we have to add that E on there to make the O be long and say its name. So we're gonna first we're gonna mark our two vowels. Okay, we, when we've got two vowels and the second one's an E, we're gonna mark it out. It makes it silent when the E is at the end. And when we have a silent E, that means that this vowel is long. Okay? So that's phonetic skill four. Silent E and the vowel is long. The first vowel is long. Now you try to think of a word with a silent E. Write it on your paper. Okay, now let's practice phonetic skill five. That's one of the main ones we were still working on when we um, were at school last. Okay, phonetic skill five, remember, it's a tricky one. It has a lot, a lot of different um, kind of tricky rules. But at phonetic skill five is adjacent vowels. Okay, so adjacent vowels means, remember we we did the little um, activity where we pulled up two people and we put them side by side and we said when somebody's side by side, they're adjacent. Okay, and when they go away from, uh, and we move them away from, from you, then they're not adjacent anymore. So when you have two things side by side, that means they're adjacent. It's a big word for first grade, isn't it? Okay. So let's think of a word. I'm going to write the word sleep. Sleep. So when we're sounding that out, a lot of times we just want to put S-L-E-P. But that would be slip, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be sleep. Okay, so let's look at it. We've got S-L, which is a blend. So I'm going to mark it. We'll see if I can do it this way. Okay, then I'm going to mark my two E's. Now, when I have two adjacent vowels, who remembers what we do? Okay, the second one is silent, and the first one is long. Okay, so remember how we mark it? The first one is long, and the second one is silent. You don't, you don't hear it. You don't say sleep. You just hear one E, so we cross the second one out. Okay? So see if you can think of a word that has adjacent vowels. There's lots of different adjacent vowels. So see if you can think of one. Okay, so just real quick review. The next skill one, the word has one guardian consonant and proves the vowel is short. The next skill two, oops, two, is when a word has two guardian consonants, it proves the vowel is short. The next skill three is when the vowel stands alone, the vowel is long, long and strong. The next skill four is silent E. When the word has the silent E, the first vowel is always long. And the next skill five is adjacent vowels. When you have adjacent vowels, the second one is silent and the first one is long. Okay? So that was just a really quick little review about our um, five phonetic skills. And I hope that you can practice some words on your own. And I will talk to you later with another phonics lesson.